thing. Oh, I'm doing it on my end. There we go. And yeah, because it says recording whenever you're recording. Oh, make host. Make host. Okay. You should be able to share your screen. All right, cool. Okay, then let's do these. Da -da. Okay, so I just kind of wanted to briefly go over ah, the Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> Our issues, and I made a PowerPoint so I could be on track. And um, yeah, so cool. yeah, Amy did that Facebook training on the HFA group about how her team's building with the reset and challenge group, and I thought it was freaking brilliant. And it's an easy way to kind of stay in touch with people that you know did a reset or did a program or is a preferred customer and is getting the products kind of interested, but doesn't want to do anything with it yet. So that's why I thought it was awesome and decided to make a proof. So, and well, another thing too, um, anyone that's watching this as a recording, look in the email below the link for this video and you'll see the link for the training that Amy did. So if you want to dive a little bit deeper, you can watch that training. You can reach out to Tiffany and I, but she's going to kind of, say how we're going to, you know, make it our own version. Exactly. So before anything, the question is like, how do you want to grow your business? Mm -hmm. And if you only want to grow your business with the business side of things, like this entire thing is irrelevant. So it's the end, <laughs> <laughs> basically. But um, if you want to build with product, then I think this is a great supplement to everything in life. So if you're excited as I am, yay! we're on your program but then the reality is is like now what do I do yeah. I decided I'm gonna run a program now what <laughs> and the reality is the hub has great information in it but then you don't really know like what to post when and then how to get people engaged and most groups it's only the group for the time being for that challenge and then it just kind of dies off and it mm -hmm. becomes really bad Mm -hmm. And then you have like 50 Facebook groups that you're a part of and 30 of them, they don't do anything. So those are the kind of the problems, right? So how, what do I do to prepare people like going into the challenge? Because you can't be like, okay, here's your reset kit. Good luck. Godspeed. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I kind of did that to one of my friends, but um, she knows how to read instructions. So she was perfectly fine. But my other friend who is not able to read instructions... <laughs> <laughs> so, great. so I had a check in with them every day like I was messaging the five people that did the reset every single day to check up on them and it was a complete pain in the ass and then afterwards I went on vacation so there goes all that work right <laughs> but um, that's where this group comes in so I've preloaded a content Amy said we should have about 20 pieces of content so when we add people, people aren't bored and be like, okay, this is useless. I'm going to leave. And another thing is we want to make sure that the group is updated every day. So five days a week. And then on the weekends, kind of like the freebies, so easy going, doesn't really matter kind of post. And then, yeah. And then the cycle just kind of repeats. Cool. Who's allowed in this group? So one of us, if you're watching this recording, you're allowed to be in the group. Yes. Not watching this recording, you're not allowed to be in the group if you're not a business partner. The other options is you are a client who has done the program or is going to be doing the program and you already got their credit card number. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like they already made the purchase. Yes. Not someone that's just interested. Exactly. Someone who actually gave you money is well out in the program and in the group. I mean. mm -hmm. And the last person is a preferred customer who wants to get healthier. So somebody who has bought product from you and is interested in becoming healthier. I'm sure if they brought product from you, they want to get healthier. So of course too bad. And I set up the Facebook group so we could control the people going into the group. So if somebody finds the group somehow and tries to add themselves, there's a shield and the questions are this. Are you a current client or doing a five day research challenge? Blah, blah, blah. If no, are you interested? And if this person says, no, I am not interested. They're not allowed in the group. <laughs> yeah. And the other question is, what are your top three health goals and how can we support you? Mm -hmm. And this is all the stuff that I loaded onto the Facebook page. 
great, right? So we got recipes, and then the bottom it says the PDF files here. Mm -hmm. Is for the 28 day program. I think this one is outdated. I okay. think, yeah, I'll have to, yeah, but I don't think there was a newer one on the communication edge. I think the bio omega price is slightly different, maybe like a buck or two more. Okay. And uh, this one, I just pulled number 10 and changed the prices. I, like, I just like stuck a thing, in, so it just shows Japanese prices. Nothing okay. bad. And we have five awesome videos from the communication edge that I actually uploaded onto the group because I wanted to keep people on the group and not go to YouTube and get this lost in the YouTube wonderland of endless amounts of videos. And the last one is posts from the What's Up Will You Sauna blog. And uh, the PDFs could get a little hard to find. So, so let me just show you. If you go here and go into this files, all the files are going to be here. And when you click on this three dot thing, you could see, see original post. And when you go there, it opens a new thingy and it tells you, it gives the original post that I put on and the file. So I tagged one of my friends in it because she wanted more shake ideas. Mm -hmm. so, so this is, I was gonna say, this is something really, really good um, if you do bring in a new preferred customer and you're looking at possibly making recommendations, um, using the files is a really kind of a good shortcut to go ahead and find what a good recommendation would be for them. And then we encourage tagging every, you know, any preferred customer. If you think it's relevant to them, feel free to tag them. You know, I would try and limit it to maybe five items the first go around because you don't want to overwhelm them. But definitely feel free to tag them and say, hey, thought of you this might be interesting for you or something like that because now you're giving them more of a concierge type of benefit of being a USANA customer. Yeah, like for this one example of the detox. This is my favorite, I, by the way. Yeah, I talk one of my friends in it and uh, she's, she speaks English uh, fairly well. It's not her first language. So there's like random Japanese words in here. But then she was asking like, how can she meditate? So I actually replied with a really long post that probably should be a post on its own. <laughs> but um, if somebody needs to know how to detox, you just tag them in this and be like, hey, this is probably helpful to you. And then we could kind of not let that content die. Like mm -hmm. one year from now, this the detox information is not gonna change. Yeah, because every, every, everything that is going to be in the group that's being promoted is all lifelong content. You know, maybe a sale or two will be like a flash sale, but like the actual content itself is a lifelong changes that'll help them stay healthy. Mm -hmm. And then like the videos part, you could actually look at all the videos from here. So it, instead of going through the entire group and scrolling, it might be easier to look at the videos or the pictures or the files. Mm -hmm. Especially files. so, don't click screens real quick. You see um, near the bottom of the page, um, eating out, have a plan. So that would be really, really good to tag someone that is near the end of a reset or if they were you know, worried about doing a reset and they're like, oh, I don't know what to do. Um, you know, I go and I eat out a lot and I don't think this will be realistic for me. So little things like that, just listening to little pain points you know, obviously we can always, we'll be adding more and more content as time goes on, but looking and listening for those pain points and then tagging them with a solution. Cause the whole point is for you to be a problem solver for them. So little posts like that go a long way and it makes them feel like they're not alone. Yeah. And like, actually another thing is whenever there's a post, we need to share what our struggles are not what we're going through as well, because we're human and we pretty much have the same problems. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, for like eating out, I have that problem all the time. And the problem is the same, but it's slightly depend different depending on country. So like I said, on this eating out post, I'm going to click on it. Like the recommendation is that you maybe you should box up half the meal before you eat. But then if you do that in Japan, the portion size is about this big. <laughs> <laughs> so the option would be to, because in Japan, the food comes in like, it's kind of like a course and the rice and the carbs are usually at the end. So if you're on a diet, you just kind of want to ignore the last course and then you'll be fine most of the time. 
kind of thing. But then that's more like country specific. But then the overall thing is always going to be the same in terms of how you manage eating out. Okay. Love it. And uh, let's go back to the slides. So that's all the information there. Mm -hmm. So in order to not let this group die, we still kind of want weekly topics. And I thought these would be great. So Mindset Mondays, anything about mindsets, motivations, and yeah, like goal setting and stuff like that should probably go into here. And as well as meditation, journaling, vision boards, all that great stuff. Transformation Tuesdays would be like testimonials. The testimonials I have loaded right now are straight from USANA. So what we should be doing is adding our own testimonials. Mm -hmm. And on, um, no, on Tuesday, on the 26th, I'll be posting my own testimonial from the product. And when we do these testimonials, I want to make sure we don't mention the business or network marketing because this is a product-based group. Yeah. And then if we eventually or probably make a business-based group where we would want to mention about business, that's fine but not for now. Another one is uh, poll Wednesdays to kind of see where everybody is at, what everybody needs. Cause I could come up with like 5 billion things, but if nobody really cares, there's no point. <laughs> in posting it. So I have, um, so the one thing I have posted right now is that what are your, what do you want to see in this group? And I believe next week is what's your new year's resolutions. Like you want to lose weight, do you want to do something else? Like, and just kind of getting an opinion. Other ones I have, I have ideas for is how often do you shop for groceries? Do you have a gym membership? Do you like podcasts or videos or articles? So it's information to see what's our demographic, our network wants to see. And then so we could produce content according to that. Uh, Q&A Thursdays is of answering questions from people. So if anybody posts a question on the group or somebody messages you a question, or if you're talking to someone casually and be like, yeah, like I've been taking these vitamins and they've been really helping and people have like a question about it. Those are the kind of things we want to be answering in there. Cause if one person asks, I'm sure more than one person has that question. Feel good Fridays is for education on nutrition, health and the products. And they kind of all go hand in hand. Like for example, the next one I'm planning, to, the next product one I'm planning to do is fish oil and fish oil oil has like a million benefits. And also another thing with fish oil is that there's like, if you buy a Costco brand fish oil, the quality is not going to be as good. And I had to slap it out of my aunt's hands <laughs> when she was visiting me and I have and then one day later, I put the biomic on her hand and say, like, here's what you should be taking instead. <laughs> but um, that kind of information. And also, I don't want it to be like kind of like product, 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 promotion, promotion, promotion. So another thing that I have planned for this coming Friday, for example, is the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. Like, what are the products that are good like that does not have to be organic and it'll probably be fine. And the things that you really want to make sure it's organic because conventionally it uses a lot of pesticides. Like I know two of my friends in the group, they have no idea <laughs> of this stuff and it'll be helpful for them. Well, and for, in, this is another regional one for certain people, it's harder to get organic. So this whole mindset of I have to do everything organic when you've got access to like canned goods may not always be the best solution. So if they can, you know, kind of cal be calmed down to realize that, you know, here's a dirty dozen in the clean 15. So let's take care of the dirty dozen or let's take care of this, you know, and focus only on maybe 10 items that I bring into my household that are um, you know, organic versus trying to convert everything to organic. So it's, you know, anytime it's a win, it's a win for them too. It doesn't have to be an all or nothing mentality because this is a lifelong change, not just, you know, a crash diet. Yeah, exactly. So if it's a crash diet, then you're five days and you're out and you're back to your normal burger and soda drinking. Yeah. And you're just going to gain back to weight. <laughs> but we want to make sure that people, this is the start of their lifelong health journey and when you're just starting out like for example when i started out i used to live closer to a mcdonald's than a grocery store 
And when I walked out of the train station to go home, I basically made a U-turn. And on that U-turn back to my house, there was a McDonald's. <laughs> I was eating that shit like four times a week. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. then like most people, I feel like kind of start from that space. Yeah. The health space is incredibly overwhelming. Yes. So what we want to do with these weekly topics is kind of give like really small nuggets, not like the entire freaking happy meal, but like a really small thing that they could do. Be like, oh yeah, I remember I saw that dirty dozen thing on Friday. Let me pull up my phone and check so I know what to buy organic mm -hmm. and not thing, or what I know what to avoid buying or something. Yeah. Anyway. And then if, of course, like as the information goes and the weeks pass and you add somebody new, you could tag them to like a month old post perfectly fine. So, okay. So when do we want to do what in this group? Kind of an important question, right? And um, the way Amy runs their group is they do a reset the first week of every single month. And another thing is the 28 day program, anybody could join any time. So if we want to do a reset the first week of every month, mm -hmm. the reset order must be placed by the end of the third week every month. So the fourth week will be delivery and prep time. And since we're all going to be in the group, I think it'll be really good if one of us does the reset with people. So it's not like, all right, do your reset. Have fun. <laughs> we're going to sit on the sideline. Okay. And um, because when you're going through a reset, you'll have, you know, withdraw symptoms and you'll have cravings and you'll feel things differently in your body. And you want to kind of be right there with your clients. It, I think it has a higher power to connect when you're going through something very similar with a group of people and you want that connection. And um, besides the normal program of the weekly post for the five days of the reset, USANA has like a pre-made check-in graphic. So all those are pre-scheduled for the first week of January and I'll have them scheduled for the first week of February and the first week of every month as well. So you don't have to really worry about it. And the next question is, so what are the actual dates we're going to be doing this? So I looked into the calendar because I am a nerd and um, found, <laughs> Maggie's laughing, that these dates will probably work the best for the first week of the month. So only for January, because it's January and everybody wants to do a reset and detox, I believe the smartest thing to do is to start it from the 2nd, January 2nd, mm -hmm. which is a Tuesday. So the reset will run from a Tuesday to a Saturday. And then every month after that, we could do just the first week, first week, first week, it's fine. Since we're just starting and the reset is going to be the first week and we're going to start to the, so we're going to start the 28th day from right after mm -hmm. for a while, it's going to be like reset or the 28th day. Yeah. So after the 28th day, the first 28th day, then there'll be a reset and then there'll be a 28th day. And then when it comes to March, then we have like the overlap in terms of dates, because if we, start the reset later it's going to be the second week which would be like mid-march already yeah. so it'll probably be started smarter to just start it on the fifth instead okay and yeah i think that's the only time mm, yeah that the dates are kind of overlapping but otherwise reset or 28 day i don't think it should be a really big problem so mark your calendars with each of these and let me know which reset you want to do because I don't think it's a very good idea if all of us does a reset every month. Yeah, that sounds exhausting. Uh-huh, I'm not doing lot. it. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So I volunteered to be the guinea pig for January. Um, mm -hmm. And then I know, Tiffany, you were saying you were thinking of doing February? Yeah, I'll do okay. February. Okay, so I'll make sure that this um, screenshot that you're seeing is in the email as well. Um, and then as time goes on, we'll go ahead and make sure that we update it with like, who's what doing what month. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, if it's like once a quarter, we're doing a reset, I think we could handle that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm not doing it every month. 
No. That's just it. <laughs> so this is why I like, I decided to share the group with everybody so we could all share the reset. <laughs> and um, so after, so we have the dates here. So what's mm -hmm. exactly the cycle that we are going to go through? And this is the best case scenario that I like to call. And this is what's going to happen. We're going to do the reset and everybody's mm -hmm. going to absolutely love the program. And every, some people will probably want to pro run the program with us, which is great. And then in the future, we're going to create a business group and we're going to add that prospect into the business group. The business, the prospect absolutely loves the business and they decide to launch their use on the business. And then when this person launches their business, they're going to run a reset and they're going to add new members to our group. And then it just cycle just kind of repeats yeah. for our other. That's what's supposed to happen here. And, um, I think Amy was saying that she has her group for four months when she, they, she did the video training. So it was four months and mm -hmm. it was a lot of work being put into the group at first. I don't know how long it's going to take until this group quote unquote takes off. But then I put in the dates, the target dates for our reset until the end of June, just because you kind of want to see like one quarter is not going to be enough time to see no. how exactly this group is going to go. Six months, I thought it was probably more realistic. Yeah. But then the fruits of our labor is probably we're going to see it like next year around this time, to be quite honest. Definitely. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it's going to be all worth it. So the question is, who's in? <laughs> Yay. Yay. All right. So if you are deciding to say like, I want to take part in this, that's absolutely great. And here's what I need from you is I need you to share your product story. Like I've started to take the self-interest and this has changed. The probiotics has saved my gut, anything. Mm -hmm. Just give me your product story up until this point. And it could be, maybe you have like 5 million stories. Maybe you only have one. It's just fine. Pick one story to share because we want to make sure that the stories are kind of small and it's not like a 30 minute video of you going on and on about something. So <laughs> you say what, if you're doing a video, which you could do text, if you are doing a video though, less than what, three minutes or um, five? I would say, I was thinking somewhere in like probably five minutes. Okay. Like seven minutes will probably be overkill. Yeah. So if you're doing a video, um, less than five minutes. Mm -hmm. If you're doing text, um, a normal Facebook post link, maybe. <laughs> yeah. We don't need an essay. We, we just want to have the little story. Um, yeah. So the second thing is to actually share the research with your network because we want to have people join our group, right? And you want to mm -hmm. make money with products. So yes. that shouldn't be too big of a problem. And the last question is what does your network want and how can we support them? So when I added people to this group, I just didn't say like, oh my God, I made a new group. I'm going to add you. It's yeah. not what I said. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst thing you could do. What I did do was I had a conversation like, hey, I know it's been a while since you did your reset. How are you? And people has mentioned like, oh, I have this problem. I'm still doing this. I still want to lose some weight. Uh, I have made some healthy habits, but then I don't really know what to do or some of the things that I was hearing. So I said, okay, well, all right. Then I have something that I could help you. I made a Facebook group so we could have this conversation go even after your reset. Would you like me to add you? And they said, yes. So the people who have mentioned some questions or concerns, as soon as I added them to the group, I tagged them in the relevant posts. Mm-hmm. So they could go in with their own time and then read it, basically. And um, some have messaged me back and say, like, oh, my God, that was great. And some have just updated the group, which is fine. No problem whatsoever. But uh, we want to make sure that the information in there is something that people actually want. And um, because you guys are so awesome and I love you, I'm going to show you something because I am a nerd. So, <laughs> yeah, Maggie loves it. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, this is what's going on here. Okay, I'm going to move my camera. But, um, yeah, so, date of the month, what's scheduled, and this red thing right here, that means it needs to be scheduled. Okay. <laughs> I need to schedule something there. But all this other stuff, I already scheduled because I'm awesome. <laughs> and... 
So these are things I need to schedule. And then from like the fourth week, fourth week out. So the second week of um, January, I have some ideas that I have not worked on yet, but then this thing goes all the way down to June with like the dates in it. So it could be used as a schedule thingy. Okay. And I put in for basic info, like what are the things that we've done or I've done to have this group running. So in the future, when we want to do the business group, we'll know what things we want to do. And we'll what get- works. Yeah. Exactly. And third tab is members info. Like who did I put in here? And um, right now this is a complete pain in the ass to do, but I know that down the line, this is going to be incredibly helpful. So who this person is, who added them, what country are they from that they did join the program that they did their health concerns and dietary restrictions, where they're hanging out online and some like prospecting with notes kind of thing on the side. And um, as you can see, <laughs> we have a wide variety of people, like mm-hmm. my husband, who I volunteered to be in the group <laughs> <laughs> because he needs this information, is pretty much allergic to being vegetarian. He's like, oh my God, I cannot not eat meat. But then like on the other side of the spectrum, I have one of my salon ladies, Mew. She is mostly vegetarian. She, she won't eat any meat. She won't eat any chicken, no fish, no eggs, and barely any dairy. <laughs> so, and then these people in the middle here, they have no idea what to do about food. They, <gasps> want, they absolutely love eating, but they feel like every time they eat, they gain weight. <laughs> yeah. So if we're going to post recipes, for, for example, right? Like, great, healthy recipe. We want to make sure that there's probably a vegan option that would taste good to the person being allergic to vegetarian that, mm-hmm. you know, could satisfy people that want to eat, for example. Yeah. So that's just that. And this tab I made from a ripoff of another group. Okay. And, um, basically, what every single Wednesday, we're going to do a poll. Yeah. Yeah. So to accumulate the information from the poll, there's this thing going on. So this is from the first poll. Like what is the topic and ideal customer relevancy (laughs) is what I think it will be relevant to to the, to the customer. And this would be like the revenue potential. Like for example, nutrition, if somebody's interested in nutrition, we got the goods. Yeah. That's a high revenue potential for us if somebody wants to like exercise and do yoga maybe not so much on the revenue scale like i could still make money from it but then it's not the way i want to be making money i want the residual income Mm -hmm. so i don't have to work every day and um what how interested like i am or the group owners us are interested in the topic in the total and the poll scores so for example if somebody says they're the entire group says they want recipes yeah then we should be posting recipes and not just nutrition information. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is going to happen for every single poll that we do. So we could accumulate the data. And then when we schedule out the topics, we'll have good information for people. So that's my nerdy sheet that I know Maggie loves. I do. And that would be it for me. Thank you. Thank you, Tiffany. So I love it. So to answer some kind of high level questions, because I have a feeling that I can just feel some of the questions that are coming. Um, So for anyone that is watching the replay, if you have any questions in regards to the group, you feel that it's awesome, but maybe you kind of don't know what to do. You don't want the, don't know what the next step is go ahead and reach out to one of us. And then that way we can kind of go high overview what the next steps are. So we do not want you to just kind of join the group and sit there and not do anything. We want to make it very easy for you to be actionable. So again, I can't stress this enough. Don't feel shy, reach out to us. And then that way we can kind of do like a mini powwow and we can make sure that, you know, you are, you know, using the best steps possible so that you can support your customers. And then that way you can obviously grow your income from having happy, supportive customers. Um, Another thing too is you may be wondering why we are so interested in collecting data. So there is a marketing program that Tiffany and I have both paid um, 
$2,000 for each. And basically it kind of comes down to helping you reverse engineer the psychology of your ideal customer. Well, the way you get to the psychology of your ideal customer is finding out what their pain points are and then finding a solution. That's why I always say in USANA, you are a problem solver. And I even go as far as like, I, I've made it a habit that every time I end a conversation with a prospect or a customer, I'm happy to help. Anything I can do to help. How can I help you? You keep reemphasizing the fact that you are helping them. It makes them want to come back to you, whether they think you may be able to help them or not. You've set this, you've set this guideline that you are there to help them, whether you know the answer or whether you have to go dig for it. So the way that we can support our customers in this group and make this group very profitable for all of us, but very beneficial for the customers is to find out what are their issues. So yes, there is a little more legwork than some other Facebook groups, but if we can quote unquote, you know, serve up these automatic things for the customers so that we're reading their mind when in reality we're just looking at what they're writing, then they're going to bring you more referrals. So it's a win, 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 and it makes you stand apart than other groups because you genuinely care. You know, think of it if you have been to like a high-end concierge service, like a, a Nordstrom's or like a high-end Macy's or something where you don't just go shopping, you go shopping and maybe you have a personal shopper and that part of their experience and they help you pick out outfits that might work for you or something like that. You are the equivalent of that in the nutrition realm. You are there to be the high-end consultant to help tailor solutions to them, to check in with them, to see what they need. And this group is here to help take the heavy lifting out of the equation so that you don't have to, like Tiffany was saying, reach out to five different people for five days in a row and then nothing because we both have run reset groups and other programs outside of this. And we both agree. I mean, it's, it's extremely hard to keep the group going and motivated afterwards. So if you can leverage the group and say, Hey, you know, my group runs a reset program the first of every month. Do you want me to let you know? Now you have something that you can leverage versus starting from scratch over and over and over again, because you also, not only do you get fatigued, but your customers get fatigued starting over and over and over again versus having one group they have to, you know, join and be happy with. So that, that's kind of big is, you know, save the customer fatigue. Yep. Yep. And yourself some headaches. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you again have any questions in regards to the group, please feel free to reach out to us. Yep. Um, and do you have anything else you want to say about the group, Tiffany? Um, not really. Oh, I do. Uh, if you do want to share something, like, that's not only your story, but like, oh, I have this recipe. I, ha I found this article on nutrition, blah, blah, blah. Then sh share it. <laughs> yeah. Now. We will put it on the calendar. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. um, speaking of which, I do want to do one um, around water. So what, when you do the water one, let me know. So then that way I can kind of chime in because I've been doing some water hacks um, okay. and I'm really, really happy with them. All right. Water. So, yes. Okay. See? Cool. Scheduling live. Okay. <laughs> so for the rest of the training, um, again, I just want to kind of high overview. There is going to be in the email the scheduled time frame for the advancements. So basically advancement, if you're new to advancement, is nothing more than having a higher than normal amount of volume running through your business in a very short window. So this group, the reset group and the 28 day program is a way to kind of help you start the momentum or basically start the snowball going. So that what, if you do want to do an advancement, you have you know, some built-in clientele already, you've got some built-in revenue, so that you can kind of use leverage to do an advancement and then therefore get a higher volume and therefore get a specific rank or title or maybe just even a check. Um, so that, that way it's not starting from scratch. So if you are interested in advancement, please reach out to me and I will make sure you get put on the advancement schedule. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, that's okay. <laughs> it's not a problem. There is normally an advancement one to two times a year. 
And another thing too, to just do kind of a little housekeeping convention is obviously a couple months away, you know, you well, like seven months away, but <laughs> yeah, well, I like to talk about it now. So it's one of those things. If you know, you're interested in going to convention, um, next level you, if you bought, if you had bought a ticket for next level you, or basically if you find someone that's not using their ticket and, you know, purchase a ticket from them. Um, if you attend Next Level U and you stay in the Omni Hotel, you get a free convention ticket if you don't already have a free convention ticket. So that's a way to save on convention. And um, just another strategy to save on convention, or two other strategies I want to mention to save on convention is to go ahead and put a Google alert on the flights that you will need from here to convention and back. So then that way you can start to have Google do some of the heavy lifting for you. So when there is a really good price deal on flights, you can take advantage of it versus paying full retail. And then the last thing I would mention is if you do have a credit card, look to see what type of card you have so you can redeem points. So that, that way, again, convention is a lot more easy for you to go to. Tiffany and I both went to it last year and it was amazing. It is worth every freaking penny. There is so much that you do. There is so much that you learn. There's so many people you get to not only network with, but kind of pick their brains and go like, well, how do you do this? And how do you handle that? So it's, you know, just all of us in one giant town <laughs> taking yeah. over Salt Lake City and it's a hundred percent worth it. So if you need any advice on being creative to make it to convention, please reach out to one of us and we can help you strategize because we did. How much do you spend for a to mm. get to convention? Like the entire thing? Um, I want to say, sorry, I was totally itchy. Um, I want to say like five or 600 bucks at the end. Like I didn't spend a lot of money going to convention because I did literally exactly what I was saying. I, for a portion of the hotel, used points. The other portion of it, I had roommates in my hotel. Um, for the flight, I looked for deals on Google and I found a really, really cheap flight. I had a horrible layover, so I probably won't do that again. But again, it was just a matter of, I have this much money to spend to get to convention. That's what I'm going to do. Um, we took the train a lot and a one day pass for the train from our hotel room was like, I think it was like 10 bucks or something like that, which yeah. was, it was like so much cheaper than an Uber because we tried Ubering like once or twice and even split between two or three people, it was still like 20, 30 bucks just for one ride. So we took the train back and forth. We also went to, um, and you'll see this when you go to convention for the first time, the downstairs lobby is the shopping area. So of course we ran around like nut jobs trying to buy everything um, to bring home to customers. But what we also did is we bought protein powders and stuff like that. You know, we bought some of the items that we may not normally try um, if it wasn't for convention, maybe some of the other product lines. And instead of always trying to eat out, we would make our shakes and we would have our shakes, you know, pre-filled in the bottles, ready to go. And then there's tons of really awesome quality water everywhere in convention. So we would make the shakes on the go and then go on to the next class, you know, so there's a lot of different ways that convention can be very financially affordable for you. I don't want you to think that, you know, you're, you're too broke to go because there's always something that we can do. And another thing too, is if you participate in the reset groups, if you participate in the 28 day programs, you will start to bring up your income level. So then that way the, you know, USANA can fund you going to the USANA convention as well. So just kind of keep that in mind. Oh, and um, because I'm a nut job, we, if you think from the beginning of January until the end of July, you'll have 30 weeks. Yeah. 30 weeks. Yeah. So if you put away 20 bucks a week for 30 weeks, you'll have the $600. Yeah. And like I said, I, I mean, that's the equivalent of me flying almost on the other side of the country. I'm pretty much on the other side of the country. So, you know, you can book your hotel at one time, you know, and then you book the flight at another time and then you know you budget like what we did you know we did basically kind of a we did like almost a modified 28 20 day program you know where we had the meals but we also had a shake probably once a day if not twice a day depending on what we were doing that day so then that way 
the cost could be affordable. And of course, all of it, depending on where you are, um, save all of your receipts, put them in a baggie, you know, put them in a Ziploc, whatever you have to do, because these are all business expenses. So every time you go on an Uber, business expense, every meal you take, business expense, because you are on a business trip. So just kind of keep that in the back of your head too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, and we didn't get breakfast because the hotel gave us breakfast. Well. Exactly. So that's another thing, you know, we, we were responsible for our lunches and our dinners and the hotel gave us breakfast and they were even nice enough to give us like fruit and stuff like that to take us on the go. So plenty of options to make sure that you can afford to do convention if it is your first time. Yes. Yes. So the only other thing I kind of want to end with, because we've talked about convention, we've talked about um, advancement month, is this concept that I'm exploring with Rebecca. And it is about understanding that at the end of the day, USANA is a volume game. Some people may just tell you, you know, when you first start out, you may have the person say like, oh, well, you have to sign up distributors to make any money. That's not true. I more work with distributors. Tiffany more works with, well, Tiffany all works with preferred customers at this point of the recording. Um, but you can build your business however you decide to build your business. That's what your sponsor is there for. Your sponsor is there for you to be a, you know, to be a sounding board so that they can help you figure out how to help you sign a fit into your life at, you know, the easiest way possible and so that you can start making income from it. So if you like the, working with business partners, what can we do to do that? If you like working with customers, what can we do to support that? But regardless, at the end of the day, USANA is a volume game. So I like to say, however you get the volume, it kind of doesn't matter. So don't be too hung up on, oh, I only have uh, two business partners. So I only have one preferred customer, you know, and whatever the numbers come out to be, because again, it is a numbers game. So just kind of, Think of that, and if you need any help, we are here as a sponsor to help you. Um, never feel alone, and know that we have our bad days too. You know, we're all human. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what a buddy is for. So if you don't have a buddy, and it, maybe it's not your sponsor because Tiffany's my buddy and she's not my sponsor, um, you can have a cross-line buddy and be like, you know, when you have a bad day, reach out to someone and say like, oh my God, I had a bad day. Get it out of your system, and then you can move forward because you are building a business to help bring in income, as I call it, broken arm income, or I don't want to work today income, as Tiffany calls it. <laughs> but the entire reason why you did this is to bring in an income to support the parts of your life that you feel need more support and to also basically get paid to be healthy during the same time. So whatever support you need, please feel free to reach out. And please feel free to utilize the crap out of this Facebook group. A lot of work on Tiffany's end has gone into it. A lot of strategizing on the two of us has gone into this and we are here to support you and more importantly, support your preferred customers so that they continue to buy from you and they have a great experience and hopefully refer you over and over and over again. So if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and I think that will be it for the training tonight. Any other things you wanna end with, Tiffany? I think I'm good. Okay. All right. Well, everyone have a good night. Have a good night.